Good afternoon, Singaporeans. I'd like to begin by thanking the organizers. It's great to see so many people from different backgrounds coming together in pursuit of a common objective. We have an ex-presidential candidate, several candidates from political parties, civil society, human rights lawyers, and last but not least, our young activists, Roy Ng and Han Hui Hui. So let's have a big hand for them. So, in solidarity with uh, these young activists, and especially uh, Hui Hui, who's on whose um, slim 22-year-old shoulders the burden of organizing this event has rested, I have asked a member of our youth wing to deliver a short statement on CPF. However, before that, I would just like to say a few words about defamation. As I am sure all of you are aware, I have some up and close per uh, personal experience with defamation suits and the devastating effect that they can have. The current round has already had a chilling effect. We have been trying to get our flyer printed now for months and we've been to, I've lost track of the number of printers we have approached but none of them want to print it principally because we are calling for transparency of Tomasic and GIC and the return of your CPF. To give you a flavor of what the, the kind of response we are getting I'll read out an email that the chairman of our party got from one printer we approached. He said, sorry, my boss just told me we are unable to accept this job just to be safe, not to be involved in any lawsuit. And to cap it, in brackets, she wrote, well, since Li Xian Long liked to anyhow sue people. <laughs> uh, I just want to let you know, I am not going to stop asking questions. I'm not going to be deterred by the threat of defamation suits. So let's show them that we are determined to get to the truth. And if this government won't give us the truth, let's replace it with a new government. Yeah! 